Hello also guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix this error code and let's start off. So the first thing you want to do guys is go to settings. All settings you want to go down to network. And now we want to test our internet connection. So guys, if you get like a error code or something like that instantly, or if it doesn't work out to test your internet connection, I'm gonna show you a solution. But if it does work guys, it means that your internet is perfectly working, but the connection speed is just really, really low. And you can change that. I'm gonna show you that too, how you can do that. So if you get on connection speed, download or upload KBPS, if it doesn't start with MBPS, it means that your internet connection is really bad. So mine on MBPS right now, like you see MBPS, it's pretty good right now. So it's enough. I'm gonna show you how to get better internet connection. So the first thing for the guys that uh, the internet connection has worked, what you need to do is you can use LAN cable guys. It's the easiest. So if you have like a LAN cable that's connected to your router and your PlayStation, you can use this and get, like you see, I'm gonna prove it to you that you will get better internet connection. And for the people that can't even connect to the uh, can't even connect to the PlayStation Network, I'm gonna show you a solution for that too. So, like you see, my internet connection got a little bit more up. It was like 9 Mbps, now it's 40 Mbps. You can always try it guys. And now for the people that don't even have internet connection. So the reason why you get this is maybe there's something wrong with your router. Or maybe the PlayStation is just like they closed off your network connection. The reason why they do that is if you don't update your PlayStation or for an example if you don't go on your PlayStation for a long, long time, for an example, like months or maybe years, they will just shut down your internet connection on the PlayStation. And how you can fix that is just easy. What you need to do is you want to go back and you want to turn off your PlayStation. So guys, you are gonna force to get it updated and if you don't have internet connection it's hard to update our PlayStation because it needs internet connection so so once it's closed guys is what you need to do so guys what you need to do is keep holding the power button till you hear two beeps like that's one beep over there And a second view and leave it like this. Now you want to get the cable and connect it to your PlayStation controller. So guys, if it doesn't show anything on the screen, what you need to do is just grab your TV controller and just press source. And go back to PlayStation. It sometimes just automatically changes. And now guys, you should see this screen right here. So connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. You want to exactly do that. We are now on safe mode, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. We are now on safe mode. And guys, what you need to do is initialize PS4. So what we do, uh, what we need, guys, is a USB, and we need to connect the USB to our uh, computer or laptop. And go to the PlayStation, like the PlayStation website, <coughs> and look for the latest version on that. So, the reason why is we want to do that is <coughs> so if we can't update our PlayStation because we need internet connection, and PlayStation just forced uh, to like remove your internet connection out of your PlayStation, uh, you can't just connect to your. Uh, internet connection so 
we need to connect our USB to our computer, go to the PlayStation website, look for the version, like look for the latest version and download that version on your USB device. But guys, don't change anything on that um, file. So if you change maybe like uh, the PS4 folder like to another name, it won't work. It will just say error, it's couldn't be a fight or maybe something like that. So I suggest you guys don't do that. So you need a version of 7.00 or later, but maybe <coughs> if you are watching this video in the future, you will need maybe like more than that. And that's how you can fix this problem. So guys, thanks for watching. Comment down below and goodbye. By the way, guys, don't forget to um, don't forget to join my um, Adore Fix crew or community. It will help you around, guys. And take care of yourself and goodbye.